Bonjour my friends, I'm Frankie and welcome to Club Foodie. When I entertain, I like to serve some hors d'oeuvre, then an appetizer, followed by my main course. But how often after a big meal, nobody feels like having any dessert? I know, they can be heavy at times, but at others, they can be light. I think of a fruit parfait, a nice lemon poussette, a fluffy mousse, or even this one. In today's episode, I'll show you how to make my pavlova. This is an amazing recipe and surprisingly very easy. It's light and a great dessert to serve anytime especially after a big meal. <laughs> when it comes to the food topping, simply use what's in season. That's all. So my friends, let's get cooking. First, it's important to weigh the egg whites and what we need for this recipe is about five ounces. As you can see, I have 4.95, which is good. I use four eggs, but depending on the size, you might have to use five. Now, if your egg whites are cold, let them sit until they get to room temperature so you get more volume when you beat them. All right, next, in a mixing bowl, we'll add powdered sugar, some cornstarch, and cream of tartare, which helps to stabilize the egg whites, prevent the sugar from crystallizing, and helps it rise. So we'll give a good whisk and set aside. In a bowl of a stand mixer, we'll add our room temperature egg whites and with the whisk attachment, we'll beat them on high speed for 4 minutes. When time is up, we'll add a third of the powdered sugar mixture and process until very well incorporated, about 1 minute. We'll repeat again by adding another third, whisking well after each addition. When this is all in, We'll clean the sides of the bowl and quickly whisk it for 30 seconds. Now, we'll do a test by scooping some meringue and invert it. If it doesn't move or fall, it means it's ready. But we'll add one more ingredient, which is pure vanilla extract, and process one more time for one minute. Next, to make the perfect circle, this is what I use the bottom of an 8 inch tart pan. I'm terrible making a circle without drawing or using something, but if you're good at it, just leave it. So we'll place it on a baking sheet lined with a silicone mat, that way it won't move and will stay in place. Then we'll place some parchment paper on top so we can see the bottom pan, or if you want, you can just draw a circle instead. Now, we'll spoon the meringue nice and neat, keeping it in the 8 inch circle. Just take your time, don't rush it. So when the circle is shaped, we'll simply remove the bottom tart pan, that's all. And we can continue spooning the meringue and shaping the pavlova, okay? So what we need is the outside edge to be 2 inches tall with an indentation in the center. So, after it's cooked, we can add our toppings, which will be whipped cream and fresh fruits. What I usually do is to push the middle to the edge, just like this. We also want the pavlova to look fun, so with the tip of the spatula, we'll make peaks along the edge. We'll now move on to the oven, which has been preheated to 350 degrees, but we'll reduce the heat immediately to 215 degrees Fahrenheit. We'll gently place the meringue in the oven and carefully close the door so it doesn't deflate. Don't slam it. And we'll bake it for one and a half hours. When the time is up, we'll turn off the heat and leave it there undisturbed in the oven for 24 hours. The next day, we'll remove our beautiful pavlova from the oven and let it sit while making the whipped cream. 
In the bowl of a stand mixer, we'll add cold, heavy cream, and with a whisk attachment, we'll process for two minutes before adding powdered sugar and pure vanilla extract. We'll then whisk until stiff peaks form. I won't go into details about the whipped cream, but if you want to find out a few tips about making it perfect every time, click on the top right corner of your screen. Next, we'll carefully transfer the pavlova to a cake stand and slide a thin spatula under to release it from the parchment paper. Then we'll remove the paper and discard it. Now, we'll gently spoon the whipped cream onto the center so it doesn't cave in. It's normal to have some cracks in a meringue. Therefore, the whipped cream comes in handy to cover the imperfections. So we'll spread it out somewhat evenly before adding the fruits. When it comes to the fruits, use what's in season. Also make it fancy and be gentle when putting them on top. And my friend, this is all pavlova. Very light, colorful, and absolutely delicious. This is a perfect way to finish a meal. Impressive to look at, with a crispy crust and fluffy sweet interior, this is a great dessert to serve during the holidays or for any special occasion. I hope you give it a try soon and be sure to visit cupfoodie.com for ingredient amounts, directions, and more info. Until next time, my friends, bon appetit!